Hello everybody, it's Sophie and Marco, and we're going to talk about Better Call Saul today. Episode 8 called Coasada, but spelled C-O-U-S-H-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A. It's a real place in Louisiana. Couscous Hada. Couscous. Couscous. Couscous Town. Now, I don't like couscous. I do. But anyway, it is a, it's an Indian name, a Native American name uh, of the Muscogean. But, uh, but that doesn't Americans. have any relevance to the it episode. It doesn't have apparently. any relevance, but it's I a real thought, place. Here's what I thought was going to happen. American name. I, I think this season's very bad. It's very disjointed as a whole because, for obvious reasons. If you look at who they hired to write and direct each episode, it's not consistent. None of it's really consistent. And so I thought, you know, they talked in the beginning of the season about Gus wanting to expand in new territories and there's gangs. And so he's going to have to get rid of them or he's going to have to be careful of them. And so I thought that this season would have him uh, battling these other gangs, these new gangs that we've never seen before. And so I thought maybe there would be an actual gang that's based off of the that civilization. So like they'd be an, a Native American uh, drug gun gang. I mean that would have been really cool to have these like different gangs. Like if you've seen the movie The Warriors, kind of like with that, and have Gus just like manipulate them to kill each other or something like that. That would have been really cool. You know what I mean, Safi? Have yeah. you seen The Warriors? No, and I don't want to either. Well, but. it's it's about these gangs in New York, and it starts off, and they're at this big meeting with all the gangs in New York, uh, Coney Island in New York, and there's this huge uh, stadium full of all sorts of different gangs, all sorts of different types of people. And so I thought that's what this season was going to be. But, so that's what I thought about this episode. And as you know, I, I haven't liked any of the past few episodes at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie and say that I do either. And so this episode I actually really like a lot. So you can tell I'm being honest. I'm being truthful. I really like this episode. There's a huge difference in the quality, in the writing, in the directing, in the music. Just, when I talked about last week, I went into a, a 10 minute tirade about the music and the construction scene, how the, it was just horrible and there was no music when the accident happened. Are you talking about the Candy Mountain song? Yeah. I... Well, also when they had the accident, they didn't have any dramatic music. In this episode, oh. they have music for these moments. I was like, this is a whole different show than this whole season. So, overall, this episode, yeah, it's really good. What do you think, Safi? Did you think it was really good? Well, I was really excited because I wanted to know what they were going to do with those craft supplies. Yeah. Because I've gone to the store many of a time for you and for our my other boy to buy craft supplies for some project or another and I'm thinking well, what's this got to do a million with projects a million projects I have all this stuff all over and I was wondering what are they going to do with that what's that got to do with Huel are they going to make him design cards or something I mean just I, that's dumb but I, I had, no, had idea. no idea what they were going to do and you know, the thing is, what they did is equivalent to when he changed that name on that document and made all those yeah. copies. He goes to a lot of trouble. And that's why... And that's why he's such a good character, because yeah. he's so detail-oriented. He is. He's really smart. And he really is detailed. He's smarter than, her, he's smarter than Kim... Well, he's just smarter than in his my brother opinion. ever would be willing to admit He's smarter admit, than his admit. brother, because his brother... Well, he's at least as, as smart as his brother, and his brother never gave him any credit for anything. Yeah. 
which is sad because he really, I mean, the, the trouble they went to do what they did, which is this week's opening scene, he's on a bus. At first I thought he was on a train, but then the, the bus pulls up at Coasadi or Coasada, Louisiana, and he gets off at the post office, I guess, and and he takes all that stuff that he gathered on the bus, which if, I guess if he was going from Albuquerque to Louisiana, just that alone, it would have taken, I don't know, at least eight hours maybe. And so that would have been not enough time to get people on the bus to pay him to write stuff, to do all kinds of letters and cards. And anyway, the whole thing, the whole setup for that was just amazing. Not just that part, but the later on part with the phone Especially calls the way it was directed. And the yet, cell phones. Yet again, and, uh, do I need to say it again and again? The way it was directed, the way it was written, it was very funny. It was very energetic. It made a lot of sense compared to the last few awful episodes. <laughs> and I'm just being honest with that. And then also, well, I guess, I don't know if you want to keep talking about that. No, we, we don't, we, but just broad strokes, what you you liked about that well, episode. Well, another, I guess, well, there's two more, like, surprises. A lot of tension building. There's, uh, well, yeah, I'm just, that's Real I'm tension, too. I'm scared to keep watching because I'm like, when's the other shoe going to drop, especially for Nacho? I'm not scared because they haven't gone to any any unsettling places this season they could have like they had the perfect opportunity when they made Jimmy act so weird at the beginning and they had the thing with Nacho being a double agent they could have gone to some really unsettling places and they played it safe and so I think they're going to play it safe again so I'm not worried at all oh no but then the other surprise was that Kai who's a German what did he call him? His demolition expert. Yeah. He's kind of he's kind of immature and a hothead, and he, you know, you were thinking he's going to get in a lot of trouble, but he is not the one who does the really bad thing. Yeah. And that was really the biggest surprise because it's the always, well, not always, but sometimes it's the one you least expect, and not so obvious. Well, very it's subtle. it's funny because. Well, I, we'll talk about it in the spoilers. So, what do you, what would you rate this episode, Safi? Well, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it, um, uh, I guess I'll give it a B plus. I was gonna just give it a B, but there was that surprise about the the uh, the thing. Well, I was real excited about who, what they were gonna do with craft supplies. Because I just couldn't even imagine. I couldn't think of what they were going to do. And the way they devised that whole plan is unbelievable. And then the other surprise with the tr the person who's going to cause a lot of trouble. Well, okay, just give your rating. In trouble. I gave it a D+. Don't, plus. Don't, don't go into details. This isn't spoilers. Okay, well, I gave it a B plus because of those two, those two surprises. And I just thought it was... Uh, they built up, they're starting to build up a lot of attention, you just, attention, and you just think the other shoe's going to drop in second. So that's, and it makes you, well, it makes me nervous to watch it. So, if you get some kind of a feeling from what you watch, whether it's sadness, whether it's disgust, whether it's well, happiness. So I, sh I should love the last few episodes because no. I was... Well, I was disgusted, disgusted meaning, uh, at one of the by how bad they that were. Does something terrible and you're disgusted with them. I was. I was. I've, I've been disgusted by Kim. No, it's a different. Because of terrible I'm writing. About, it, I'm talking about something else. If, if what you read or what you see gives you an intense feeling, then it, it has done something to make you feel, then that means it's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, how about you, Marco? What did you give it? I give this episode an A minus. Very good. Because. And who directed this episode? Vince Gilligan wrote and directed it. You can tell completely. Because he the knows difference. his characters. Well, because he knows how to write a show. 
I mean, he's written so the, many. the people who have been writing and directing the past few episodes are clueless. Obviously, I the only thing is I don't know which idea came from who. Mm. Terrible, terrible things, and so that's why I didn't give this episode an A plus, is because this episode hasn't made up for the past few episodes completely because the last few episodes have done some really crappy things and you can't make up for that in one episode all I know is I wish I hope that they don't end this uh, show next season because I just think that if they really wanted to they could get a lot more out of it they could but I don't know and I, I don't know if they're capable. It would be, I mean, the, 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 the place in the country, I don't even know if they've done it justice, how beautiful New Mexico is. It's just... They haven't really. I, I really liked in Breaking Bad the stuff that they did. I think that they need to do some more stuff like they did in season one. They had all these great settings and in, in this season it's been a lot of like closed inside. environments yeah, inside I don't yeah. like that parking lots sidewalks that is not New Mexico you know what the uh, uh, what would you call uh, people call them taglines nowadays Ta uh, New Mexico is called the land of enchantment yeah and you I always wondered plates, and there's a reason why I always wonder why there was never an episode called the the land, land of, of enchantment. enchantment there should be I mean that that was always peculiar to me I've been there at least twice it's really the sunsets and the sunrise it's just a beautiful place and it's so diverse and the food is so Good. So anyways, let's move on to spoilers now. Spoiler alert, I, th I think what they did with Kim in this episode, it was a lot more natural of a progression than they, it's been these past few episodes where she just turned completely randomly. Well, I frankly, I still can't figure her out. She's all over the place. You can't like, figure out Jimmy. He was acting strange at the beginning of the season. Now he's well, back to normal. Well, he's he's acting. He was acting strange because his brother just passed away. His brother was a piece of crap. Even so, I mean, it's just in the way he died, though. Too, it wasn't that he had a heart attack or, you know, had cancer or something. He he burned up in a fire. And it was just, ew, horrible. What a horrible way to die. So, I would be bothered by that. But he was terrible to Jimmy. And terrible and terrible and terrible. We could talk about that forever. But, anyway, <laughs> I cannot, uh, I just can't figure out Kim. I mean, I like it. To me, she kind of went back to, to the way she was. Which is, which is, you know, they were together. They were going to have a business together. And then and she just she was, completely flip-flopped. I, I know, and I think she would have been, and she was happy. I could tell, tell being with him and, and, but she's still like, it is not, I don't think it's right for her to do illegal things. I mean, she was helping with somebody, but still, I think she's not the type to do, uh, to do that on a regular basis. And now, and so we saw, like we see the progression from season two when she got mad at Jimmy for doing that cobbler pie thing. She had a fit at him. She was like, Jimmy, you can never tell me this stuff again. And yeah. now she's like, let's do that again. And that, see, that's what I'm saying. I, that doesn't. Well, she's, she's made a progression. And she's see, going all over the see place, Vince though. Gilligan, but Vince Gilligan has done it the most naturally like the other two episodes where she just turns into a a, a demon biatch I mean that's not very natural is it no no not at all so at least it was natural well yeah that's what I'm saying it's almost like she's on a she's on a train and she gets off the track and she gets back on on one side and then she gets off the track on the other side and then kind of finds her way back onto the track but she's still not all quite there and I'm kind of worried because I feel like 
again, this this episode's like you feel like the other shoe is going to drop. No, with, you don't. With for me, okay, in my thing. Because you know, you know that nothing bad is going to happen. Well, I don't know that. I don't know that because she's not in Breaking Bad. So what that happens to her? I and I'm really worried. And so then the other, sh- the other shoe, would be this thing with the Germans, and Mar- Marco has got a thing where he thinks they're all going to get killed. And I just don't. See I I think it. that I they're all going to get killed. Well. If if the show if the show went on for more than five seasons, I, this is what I think would happen: they would all get killed, and uh, Mike would be in big trouble, and uh, he would have to find another team. I just don't believe that because the embassy would be down on them like, you know what, and uh, you just can't, just not going to happen. If if I mean, I mean, how many Germans are there? Is, are there like a dozen? I don't know. Let's say there's a dozen Germans working on that project, and if a dozen, let's say it's a dozen Americans someplace, and they all get murdered, it's going to cause a little stir, and there's going to be people all around. Well, okay, you can say it all you want, but you don't know what's going to happen, and neither do I. Well, so let's move on. Uh, Nacho and the new villain that was really cool at the end and that was like, i really like that who's this villain gonna be that was a great teaser it didn't say too much and vince gilligan is gonna write and direct the next episode then he's gonna write the finale so you know you're gonna get something good from that and how many more episodes do we have two. Oh boy it doesn't feel like ten of uh, eight episodes have gone by either it feels like because the season is so disjointed it has horrible episodes, it has okay episodes, it has boring episodes, it has good episodes like this one, and then the first and second episode. It's like a sandwich. You have two, the bun is really good, but the inside hasn't been so great. Well, no, the it's, 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 like, the it's like when you go to a restaurant you really like. Excuse me. It's like when you go to a restaurant you really like and they give you horrible food. You're like, wait a second. You guys have been giving me great food for years and years. And this this food is horrible, what you just gave me today. That's what it's like. Not to say the season is horrible, but as a whole, it doesn't make any sense because it's disjointed. It's disjointed because of the right end. The direct and just the general choices of what's going to happen with Kim turning into a villain, even though people are calling her the backbone of the show now, which I don't have any I don't get that idea about that. All. He's the backbone of the show, or uh, Jimmy, because it's Jimmy. It's about Jimmy. Jimmy and Gus and and her. But not just about her. It makes no sense. So, anyways, this this whole episode was great. Well, Everything was good. Should we give away the other spoiler? No, well, I'll I'll give it away. Okay. This is about the Germans, right? You know, so you the head the head of the team. It's funny. Mike actually puts him up to this, basically. Because he takes him to the bar and has drinks with him. And then the German guy is uh, sitting there bragging uh, uh, to these other guys about the place that he's building. And talking about it. Like that's that's so bad it's not even funny because they have questions. It's weird and strange behavior. Well he... he drinks more than he should. He's not real loud. And Mike puts him up to this though. That's what was really fun. Mike put him up to it. He's the one who took him to the bar and uh, all that. Well, I think, I think though, he, he wanted to do something because he, he, they were acting like they were miserable. And they were, they looked bedraggled and they looked like they didn't have sleep and they were homesick and he felt like something had to be done and... They had him corralled. They had Mike was there, and they also had some other guy with them, and who knows who else, in case anything happened. Like Kai, which I just said, he did get. 
I don't know what he did. I think he made some kind of in, inappropriate gesture. Or something. No, he touched. He. He touched an, uh, uh, one of the dancers, a dancer, which... And you're not supposed to touch him. not supposed to lay a well, hand on him. Wah, 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 wah. No, but that's a rule. That's a rule. And so, and he was drunk. And he he got mad about that he couldn't do that. And he got in trouble. They were going to throw him out and all this stuff. And but, then the other, the, but then the head of the team was the one who was doing the real bad thing. <laughs> well, it, it wasn't real. He wasn't being loud about it, but he was sitting at a table, and he, I think he even drew a picture. Yeah, he drew a full picture of what they were doing. What and they were doing. Mike was like, oh, my God. I think I've been worrying about the wrong guy. Well, he came back to the table, and he sat at the table while he still was telling them about it. Or he came up to them. He didn't care about it at all. It was really weird. So, no, he wanted to act natural. He didn't want to act to get. No, in. he didn't even notice it. He just thought that he was sitting there talking to those guys. He didn't realize until later, when he picked up the napkin or the, ta- whatever it was, coaster. Coaster, card one of those cardboard coasters. Yeah, and so, I was really scared. I thought, and and Gus no found out about. It. I don't know if they just. He reports everything to him no matter what. I thought they'd keep it quiet. But he told him. Somebody told him. And he knew all about it. And he wanted to know if he was going to be a problem. Like they were going to get rid of him. So I don't know. I, I So that's what I'm saying. It's like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And well, I wonder you, if you've somebody's going to get killed. You've said that now. Oh, I know. I can't help it. It makes me nervous to watch it. So, okay. Well, that's... Really, basically, those are the big things that happened. Oh, well, the craft supplies, they're writing, well, I got, it's so complicated, but it's interesting, and it's, you have to watch it, but basically people are writing cards and letters and different handwritings and different uh, writing implements like crayons from kids, writing notes, and markers. Yeah, and, so you don't need to go into full detail. Yeah, I've but seen that's that what the, uh, so, there, so that was really good. That was really creative. Yeah, it was. It was and amazing. Obviously, it was good because Vince Gilligan wrote. So that's that's the end of the show. So uh, we, we said everything. We went through the whole episode. That's it. Better subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these. Yeah, we're still working on the Mayb- Mayberry Mash. Mayberry Mash. If you watch the Andy Griffith show, you'll like that show a lot. It's a tournament. It's pretty long, but it's because one of us has to concede. Yeah, we have no nobody else to, uh, uh, what would you call it, proctor or manage the fight. So... Uh, we have to just do it on our own. And that usually means one of us has to concede, be a big boy or a big girl and concede and say, okay, you can have it. Well, you just concede because of the time, so. And the next people, well, I'll just say a couple of them. We're going to be, it'll, well, it'll be featuring, let's see, my, Mayor Pike and Jim Lindsay, the guitarist. Those are a couple of the people we'll be talking yeah. about. The next round. So, anyway, stay tuned, and we'll be here next week to give you the next to the last episode of Better Call Saul. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.